what is best in life? Well, we rejoin uh, Sultan Alandin V Elt, Elg, Sultan Alandin Elg V, a, a six-year-old sultan who uh, follows hot on the heels of his eight-year-old brother uh, in assuming the sultanate. The uh, Sultan Alandin IV was asked by the uh, regent to clean the roof of the palace and he fell off. So that's where we begin. And I have a new heir. Uh, it is my younger brother still, if he can survive. Uh, but there still seem to be, uh, and I believe this is the regent is appointed the one who, sl who slew the previous Sultan. So I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to last. I'm going to check my spy master. My spy master hates me. So even though he has, and I can't change him because he is a regent. Now the court of man, uh, there's no one qualified to be an imam in the whole court. And the marshal, uh, I guess I will appoint uh, my kinsman uh, to be the marshal to train troops in Gurgan. And there's a host. Is this just a raiding host? Yes, Murad's raiding host from the Caspian Sea. And I assume I have lost, yes, I have lost any claim that I had on Zabulistan. Um, I will try to uh, get another claim on Zabulistan. And what else do I have here? I could create Duchy of Kurdistan. My Demesne is too big. I'm hoping that'll resolve itself when I get uh, married. Uh, the clock's ticking along. Uh, my income is all right at uh, plus 11 gold pieces. As long as I can d defend Gurgan and its trading post. And rudimentary trade offices. Uh, fort level plus one trade value plus 50. So I will try to increase the trade value value and can I form a retinue now is that perhaps something I should be I have a retinue size of 808 uh, this retinue cap usage is 880 it would be nice to have the heavy um, oh this is a horse archers light cavalry and horse archers light skirmish retinue which would be good for sieging castles but not much else uh, heavy infantry uh, 550, 900, 725 of pikemen and archers. So here's a retinue. This is the one I want, the heavy cavalry and light cavalry, but it has a retinue usage of 900. However, do we let the perfect get in the way of the possible? Uh, this is a heavy infantry retinue. So 725, 7, 725, 900. 550, 580, 880. Uh, what if we get the uh, the pikemen and archers? This is definitely a defensive one, but we'll establish that retinue and let it build up, and hopefully, it will uh, help us. And I have a new regent. I guess the previous regent was not long for this world. And is there a valuable marriage I could make? Uh, she's 16. She has titles to Turkestan. Um, some of these hold title claims. Turkestan. Uh, let's see here. But do we have someone who is a genius? There's an attractive. Here's a strong, but she's 11. I'm seven, so that might work out. And she's also the Sayed, which would give a positive buff to Muslim opinion. And uh, she would gain me a pact with someone in revolt, a noble in revolt, who's probably going to lose his title if he loses the revolt. Or is there any quick? Here's another strong character. That would gain me a pact with an emir. Um, all right, I'll keep an eye on her. Uh, attractive. Oh, here's a genius. Oh, she's one. Uh, yes, 
we will try to get married to her. And their council is discontent. Uh, that's because the council is new. And we'll speed things up, seeing as not much is actually going on in the world. And is there somewhere where I can make a conquest? Uh, can I... Uh, I lost these territories to the Byzantine Empire. Can I conquer Karakum? He's now Sultan Akin of the Arabic Sultanate. He can raise 6,000 troops with another 1,000 on the way. I can raise 4,000 troops with another 300 on the way. Um, plus my retinue, I guess, of another 400. I really should, oh, I should try to defeat that Sultan of Iraq before he, he is the one. Can I, if I assassinated the Sultan of Iraq, what would happen to him? His heir. Um, why can I not plot against his life? Oh, because I'm too young to plot against his life. That's why. Um, all right. And can I get perhaps Chinese? Okay, here we go. I've got a claim. Uh, my work in Dashistan has come to fruition by bribing and cajoling. He has managed to assert a claim. Yes, I will use it. And in Dashistan, the, oh, he has the Sultan of Granat, Gujat, and the Maharaja Khan. So the Sultan can raise 5,000 troops. And the Maharaja can raise 4,000 troops. So this guy's protected as well for Dajistan. If I assassinate him, though, his offer vassalization, no. If I could assassinate him, then his, oh, one of his packs was just broken. There we go. So Dajistan. The Maharaja has 4,000 troops. He has 3,100. Um, how is my income looking? Plus 6.9. That's because my retinue is building up. It'll build up to 300. Uh, I really don't have much else to do except... If only I could plot to kill either the Khan or the Duke and break off his alliance, and then that would let me um, attack him. Now, are any of these, these sheikdoms are all held by the Sultan of, of Iraq with 9,000, with, he has 7,000 troops. Uh, Pros proposes that we send more troops, making them a bigger, better uh, mercenary band. Uh, yes, that sounds like a good plan. So, um, military. What sort of mercenaries do we have available? To the great Sultan Alandin of the Jaw Shadim, I write to ask for permission to give my ward, El Galandin, a proper Zoroastrian upbringing and learn the ways of the Gothas. Yes, that seems appropriate. My half sister. My half sister is a Tengri. It's bedtime, but I can't find my favorite toy. I have it when I go to sleep. I can't sleep without it. I'm a big boy now. There we go. Oh, if only he would die. He's 54. After supper, me and Alandon were forced to do dishes, but I was clever and hid them until Alandon told on me, and now I have to do it all. Unfair. I'll run away. Alandon may gain conscientious. Uh, stupid dishes. Uh, let's try to gain conscientious. And we'll speed things up as there's not much going on. 
Mayor Arong worries that the people of my realm lack the judgment when I still haven't chosen the chief Kadi to take care of all legal matters. To ease his worry, Mayor Arang came to me and suggested someone who he believe, I guess who he believes, would make an excellent chief Kadi. I agree he would make an excellent chief Kadi. Would this guy? What's his learning? His learning is 12. Well, all right, sure. Now... Who are some of these guys? Are some of these guys Sheik, Emir, Caliph Hassan, declare war? I would just need to be approved by the council, but there's some sheikdoms that are outside of Persia that I could gain, use to gain strength. Rumor has it that my brother Alag Alandin has been influenced by his garden splendor. It is said that Alag Alandin is now considered properly Han. My brother is Han? Ikta, he's Han. I hope it's a beneficial influence. And there's no one he can marry whatsoever. Oh no, I need a spy master. Preferably one that won't kill me. They all hate me. Twelve. Oh boy, do they ever. The Sheik, why do these Alandon family members hate me? Want seat on the council, title climate, once Jaws shot him. So, and I'll give him a small gift and get him scheming. My liege, I write you with bad news about Gurgan. They're upset about the taxes. That's okay. I can put down any revolts. And there is someone, my brother, El Galandin has, through the teachings of Sheikh Jaws, been studying the principles of the Zoroastrian faith. So is this my heir? He becomes, is my heir now Zoroastrian? Yes, he is. Great. So even if I get murdered, now my heir. And the Jaws shot him, has factions. Uh, is there anyone I can buy off? Jeez, these people just hate me, and I'm just a little kid. Uh... Demesne, too big, is only negative 10. Title climates. Still, their factions are smaller than my overall army. Money has been disappearing from the treasury. I suspect my regent, Mayor Arong, how good of... He's not that good, uh, but there is no proof, so I can't fire him yet. Perez proposes that we send him more troops, making him bigger. Sure, send him more troops. How big is his mercenary band at this point? Uh, 227. That's not that many people. So I could hire for 240. I could get 2,400 troops. And how rich is the Sultan? Of Iraq, he doesn't have the money to spend, so I can get 2,400 troops on top of, and he has no packs. Dehistan, his army has gone up to 3,000, and his army is at, he's got a 500 retinue, and his is going to go up another 1,000 troops. He's at 4,000, and he can get 5,500, so it's going to go up 1,500 more troops. Darn it, I need one of them to die. I have indisputable proof that my regent, Mayor Arong, is embezzling money from the treasury. Now, can I fire him? He's the regent, though. And someone new, my spy master, has been appointed as my regent. And I need a new steward. Um, is he the guy who was just stealing from me? Collect taxes in Gurgan. And two children lack a focus. Who is he? My rival? Is this my brother as well? Uh, timid, fussy, conscientious. Well, we will send him into business. We definitely don't want him becoming a... Um, uh, getting an intrigue focus. And 
is there someone young? He's 12, she's 12, with the claim to Kazaria. Would be nice to get some claims going in my court. She has a claim. Dashistan. There we go. The Lords of Arabia have approved the institution of the Banishment Committee Law. All right, so I now have a member of my house who has a wife who has a claim on Dashistan, which may be useful in the future. She is conscientious and she's a Zoroastrian. Let's give her a stewardship focus and uh, arrange a guardian. The highest Zoroastrian with the stewardship focus, which is way down the list. And get her married matrilineally. Oh, it doesn't give you the matrilineal marriage option. Uh, mayor, mayor, marry him to the Prince of Hispania. It's late at night and I get out of bed to use the chamber pot. Galan starts calling my name. I see a man hiding under the dining table. He notices me and whispers, Psst, come over here. Hide with the man, answer Golnaz. Golnaz is, oh, that's a woman or a man? She, he or she is shy, gluttonous, diligent. I will hide with the man. I bet you this gold coin you can't hold your breath until I'm outside. Easy money. Uh, I will call for Golnaz. Golnaz was shocked when she found me. The guards came and took the man hiding under the table. They said he was a bad man and I should stay away from strangers. I wonder who that was. That was another assassination attempt. And the uh, um, Caliph, the Badashah of Hispania has agreed to a marriage. Would he agree to a non-aggression pact? Yes, he would. There we go. So if I can survive to be old enough, I will have a non-aggression pact with the Umayyads. Formal alliance, yes. Actually, I will form an alliance with the Umayyads. After a brutal civil war, the decadent dynasty of my former liege has finally been overthrown by the Zayid clan. In the transitional chaos, I could probably get away with the Declaration of Independence. Uh, I will stay loyal because... Yes, I will stay loyal and I accept your proposal for an alliance. All right, now have they gotten, has the Sultan gotten weaker? Uh, we request that you honor your obligation, answer this call to arms against Caliph Mahmud and Empress Duchy of Francia. All right, I'll accept it. And hopefully there'll be no Francian armies that will make it all the way over here. There we go. And I'm 10 years old and I'm not dead yet. And can I? Yes, he's broken his packs. Can I declare war on him? Declare war. I need approval of my council. Uh, not my liege council, my council. My spy master. Can I request council support? Yes, he will support me in exchange for a favor. Uh, request council support, yes. The French holy war for Castile has ended, white peace. So I honored my uh, my agreement with Hispania and it didn't cost me anything. Oh, who are these? Murad's host, yikes. Um, 5,000, darn it. I don't want to throw away my army fighting off a host, but it looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. And is this another Kozar?
A Chinese healer has taken shelter in a small village outside of Gurgan, supposedly treating people in exchange for food, and successfully so. My courier first thought the man was a beggar, but rumor has it that he comes f fleeing the uh, current situation in the Tang Empire. It would a explain his appearance. We need a physician here in Gurgan. He's quick. He's got a learning of 18. That's excellent. It's too bad I couldn't matrilineal marriage into him with all his skills. Oh, and it looks like I'm not going to have enough troops to drive off this host. I'm going to have to hire mercenaries. Um, I'll hire my own band of mercenaries first. And then is there someone cheap for 140? There we go, I'll hire them. This is just an absolute waste of money. Their offensive pact opposing King Carling has been opposed. There's been news from China. After years of confusing warfare and shifting alliances, the Chinese Civil War is over, the old regime has fallen, and a pretender of the old dynasty has emerged victorious and now sits upon the dragon throne. Things are slowly returning to normal in the Middle Kingdom, and the Silk Road is safe again. Well, that's good news. News from China. Uh, various rebel factions have risen up in and around the Middle Kingdom. One of them, led by Hanji, in charge of the Kaitan tribe, descended upon the west from the mountains. Wherever he goes, the countryside is left ablaze throughout the region. People are praying for someone to deal with the hostile raiders. So, uh, let me... And I'm going to send 6,000 troops after the 5,600 in my home province. Rumors of the military might of the Tang Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. Uh, the High Chief of Muria has peacefully agreed to become a tributary. And come on, let me defeat these guys. It's a close run thing. And I'm losing and I'm going to lose, even having blown 150 gold pieces on mercenaries. Oh, holy, I lost 2,000 troops and he only lost 700. That's a crushing defeat. I guess because it was in the mountains, and I'm not sure why that was such a crushing defeat. I'll take a business. And uh, assign guardian. The Zoroastrian with the highest uh, stewardship. And it appears, did that host leave my lands? Yes, it did. So that was an... I have become cynical thinking about things. I have concluded that everything in the world is not as the priests say it is. I lose the trait curious and I become cynical. Uh, my intrigue is plus two, my same trait opinion. And Sultan, the Sultan himself, needs a focus. I'll take the business focus. And no, I'm Persian. I definitely won't convert to my lieges culture. As a matter of fact, I want to abandon my lieges religion. And I'm uh, sieging down these territories. And Murad's host, somebody else fought them off. And how are my finances looking? I'm losing five gold pieces a month, and that's with all of these mercenaries. Actually, the mercenaries, I might as well just uh, blaze through these battles. Great, that's gotten rid of them. Now, can I declare war upon Dahistan? He's become independent, which is even great. So he's got a smaller army. What is this? He's in a league opposing Caliph Murad. Okay. 
so I need to uh, send away my levies. Declare war, claim Dodgerstan, the Empire of Hispania will support us to whatever extent they can. We'll raise our levies again. News from China, the status quo in China is over. China has recently been suffering from droughts and the people are starving as a great famine upsets the harmony in the divine land. The caravans and ships of the Silk Road have virtually ceased and the great Chinese artisans are simply trying to survive. China will not be able to assist its tributary states. So, is there time? I have 380 grace. Request a peace deal. Request a physician. I already have a Chinese physician. So there's, I don't have enough grace. Is there anybody I could send? Launch a relief expedition to try to levy reinforcement rate, gain 500 grace, sending relief to China until July 916. So it would take 10 years. National tax modifier, negative 10%. Levy reinforcement rate, negative 30%. And gain how much for just sending a eunuch? Oh, that's my marshals, my kinsman, and he's a Zoroastrian. Otherwise, I'd send him. So the Manichean heresy has reared its head in Dihistan. Now, darn it, somebody's in Gurgan. Is this a host? Zabulistan. Zabulistan made it all the way to my home province before I could even gather my troops up. Oh, looks like I'm scoring a pretty easy victory over them. And, well, I got a pretty substantial victory over the Zabulistanis. Their army's still large enough to siege down my holdings, though, so it would be nice to ping-pong them another couple times. And how are my finances? I have 2,500 gold, but I'm losing 12 a month. I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart racing and my whole body is feeling strange. What was I really dreaming about? Uh, Elham kissing me. Uh, her lips touching mine, my hands touching her gently. I wonder if Elham feels the same way about me. Let's see, if I get chaste, I get monthly piety or I can get lustful. She gets me all excited. There is uh, no great utility in having a chaste sultan. It's such a waste of opportunities. And I guess I'm over the supply limit. At least it's just a 0.5% death rate from being in the mountains. There we go, I'm back on the coast and my supply limit is good again. Now I can siege down. And the siege of Dashistan Dash Testin begins, and hopefully I can uh, get some of Zabulistan into my patrimony to make up for the uh, lost territory that I lost, including a Silk Road trading post that I lost to the Byzantine Empire. I'm just not up to fighting off the... Yeah, I lost someone to the Byzantine Empire, which hurts the Jure Duchies of Tabriz. And it's also rather like having an elephant poke his nose into the tent when the Byzantines start taking your lands. 
uh, well, that's it for this episode. Uh, I've gotten a little bit done, not very much. Uh, it's hard to do that when your uh, Sultan keeps getting murdered when he's a uh, teenager or even a eight or nine year old. So if you've enjoyed the video, just hit the, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications of my other videos and have a good day.